they are held safely in God's hands, therefore they can be generous. But if we just tell people to be generous without them understanding the gospel, they will not have the power to be generous. We show Jesus as our true wealth. Again, even when we preach from the Old Testament, which we must do, we preach Jesus. After Jesus rose from the dead, he was walking and he or he met two friends walking on the road to Emmaus. And the Bible says that those two friends did not understand what happened to Jesus. And so Jesus walked along with them, explaining to them the Old Testament. Jesus explained to them how the prophets, the law, the psalms all pointed to him. In Luke chapter 24 verse 44 so Jesus is in the upper room with his disciples. Uh, and the text says that he is teaching his disciples. From the prophets, from Moses. From the and Peter was there. He heard this teaching. And we hear an echo of that teaching when Peter says in verse 10 of, of 1 Peter 1 that the prophets spoke of the grace that was to come. So Peter, now who did not know, 
ตัวเอ่อตัวนี้ตัวเป็นรูปตัวตัวนี้ที่เป็นคีย์ and so if we preach without keeping Jesus as the center all we are doing is giving good advice and so point number three the gospel is centered on Jesus Christ number four the gospel is personal and so the gospel is not just about many people but it's about individuals and their relationship to God all through the passage Peter talks about uh, new birth talks about our love for God our love for Jesus in the gospel I am confronted with with my sin against a holy God but also with the provision that that holy God makes for me the forgiveness of sin ตาตาคือสอเวปากาสกอนะนานมาตาตุตะกะมาตะคานานมากะมามาตาตะไสวากอเดตาเดบะตะไคนีบาดุลอดาดอกะไสวาอะตาเอตาคุยเลอะทุ